I decided to make a quick video to actually showcase the application that I've created for GPT-3. So it is right here and uh, definitely I have to work out on the icon. And that's actually, um, even though it's not as important, that's something that I'm actually going to probably do in the course of uh, tonight because I've actually stayed up late last night coding until I believe it was 4 a.m. So, yeah. Uh, now, let's actually look into it. This application is actually uh, a backbone for the GPT-3 OpenAPI. So, OpenAI, OpenAPI is this GPT-3. This is actually a backbone for it. So, it's not like... Uh, right now it's so for the for this very moment i'm not actually going to sell the application it's going to be available for free if uh, i am going to publish it on the marketplace otherwise um i'm just going to publish it on one of my websites so this is actually i think i'm saying this like for the third time it's very similar. It's a wrapper. You can what you can view it sort of like a wrapper over the API. So in here, you're going to push your API key, and once you do that and hit the use button, it's this uh, this entire field is going to disappear. And I'm going to showcase this in the moment. So there are a few things that I want to add to the application as I go along. Um, obviously. Uh, I'm going to add a side uh, bar layout where I'm going to uh, do some disclaimers and um, I think I'm going to have an about page over there, but nothing too fancy. I mean, the application is functional and this is actually uh, its sole purpose. I've looked into the Android marketplace and I haven't found the uh, other applications like this, which is why I decided to actually do it. Even though GPT-3 is extremely, extremely new and I've just recently got access to its API. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm still trying to figure out what it can do. It's mind boggling. And I keep saying that given the relatively lower quality, in my view, of the data sets that has been trained on, and the existence of a very higher quality um, data sets such as the pile, it would be um, without too much modesty or without, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. It would be like a revolution in all fields if GPT-3's 175 billion parameters would be trained on a data sets such as the pile so yeah hopefully someone or people at the open api actually take this into consideration anyways what i want to say before moving forward is that the api key is probably only held in memory uh, i'm not actually super sure about this the api key over here is only held in memory at and during the moment of the application being alive. Once I close the application and the entire memory is cleared from the Android, um, so after the memory has been released from this application, um, the API key is no longer there, it's destroyed. So I don't save the API key anywhere. Uh, there is no database. There's nothing, so every time you enter the application, you're gonna have to paste the API key. But I'm gonna show you a nice feature in a moment, uh, which is gonna be less of a hassle to actually use the application. I might, if there is interest, I might do an option to save the API key and also to do some sort of a login, but this is probably for the um future if there is interest in the application so right now my api key is in my clipboard 
and I'm just uh, pasting it here and you cannot see anything and once I hit use this is going to be stored in a variable and these two fields this input field and the use button are gonna disappear so there you go no more API keys now over here as you can see we have a few toggles there's the temperature toggle over here there's the top P toggle these two are sliders there's the engine here the engine selector there's the max tokens which is the max length of the output that you want to get and of course we have the prompt and uh, so the engine let's say we are um, selecting the da Vinci instruct beta we have a temperature let's say lower rich temperature I love lower temperatures and we um, so the convention or the general wisdom is that you only want to play with one of these two either temperature or top P so I'm going to leave top P and one at one the temperature a lower temperature makes the model more deterministic and less random meaning that if you know how to prompt it appropriately it will probably give you more repetitive or more um, of the same result so it's less random I might be adding some sort of information for all of these parameters but now for now I focused on these uh, these like four toggable parameters so the engine the temperature the top P and the max tokens this is what you can do maybe in the future I'm gonna add another one for the frequency penalty right now the frequency in the application the frequency penalty is set to 0.75 so this is actually uh, going to make the model it's going to penalize the model for repeating stuff which is why the model is going to be less repetitive so uh, i might be adding an option in the future to actually make the uh, the frequency penalty and also the presence penalty toggable and maybe the other parameters that are toggable in the playground as well as the uh, such as the starting uh, point the uh the end point or the end uh, symbols and there was another one i'm not quite sure which that was now let's do max tokens uh, let's do mass max tokens i don't know 50 because we're gonna we're gonna prompt it for something philosophical let's say two of the most two of the most popular quotes by by who let's say by blaze pascal then we do that so we've selected the vinci instruct beta we have the temperature 0.25 i guess in this case we could increase the temperature a little bit more and the max token set to 50. i think it should be enough to get two of the most popular quotes by blaze pascal now let's hit get uh, of course, I have to open up my internet connection. All right, I'm connected to the internet. Let's do that again. So get. There you go. The heart has its reasons of which reason knows nothing. I would have written a short letter, but I do not have the time. I'm not sure if this one, the last one, was actually written by Blaise Pascal, but what if we change the engine to the Da Vinci and hit get? 
The heart has its own, has its reasons, which reasons do not know. Old man's miseries derive from not being able to sit alone in a quiet room. To sit in a quiet room alone. I know this one. Now, what if we do the temperature higher, which is going to make the model less deterministic? And do the get. So we get the same one. And I have made this letter longer than usual, only because I... Yeah, I think this, the second one, is also... Um, is also a good one. So in this case, uh, the output is being posted in a text box. So you can just copy this and then paste it or save it, whatever you want. Okay, so this is it. A quick showcase of the backbone wrapper or whatever you like to call it for GPT-3 for Android.